I've just seen something in the rubbish pile, which is another canary in the coal mine moment. It's time to wake up Australia and world. Take a look what's up here. Oh God, I'm starting to lose count of how many times I see these cheap battery powered lawnmowers being thrown out and I bet you it's not very old. Okay, Azito Power, the lithium ion battery, 18 volt would go in here. There's no battery here. I saw one of these, it was only a few weeks back and I did an extensive video about it. I'm just taking a look at the condition of this mower. I can see this area here is rusted a bit. I can see they've done some sort of repair to the catcher area to keep it intact. It looks like the copper merchants have come along and stolen the copper from this machine. Let's take a look underneath and see what's going on. It's gonna tell us a lot. I'd say this one's done more work than the last one I looked at. It's got the same weight here, but it's the blade that talks to me. This one is a bit muckier, but taking a closer look at the blade, and this is the cutting side, uh, these mowers, well, they don't really show any sign of doing any heavy work at all. I'm seeing if it's gonna make that sound that the one in store that I looked at made, and the other one that I found, yeah, it makes this funny ratchety sound when you spin the blade. What's curious about this one, but it very much tells the story of the sort of weather we've had in Australia. I can see what would have been wet grass and it's all caked up here. Maybe this is a problem. I think these mowers would really struggle if they started to ingest stuff like this. That's all just caked up and would have been wet grass. Hmm, it's curious. I would definitely say this has done more work than the previous mower like this that I found. And another place to look is inside this housing here. If you see this getting belted up by things being flicked off by the blade, that's often a sign that the mower's done work. But I tell you what, I'm not seeing that area too badly damaged at all. I learned a lot about these little mowers from a product reviewer called Karen from Queensland. And she said it was a fantastic little mower, gave her back a mowing independence. But she also told us that she had to mow her lawns at least three times a week during summer. So she was basically a slave to mowing lawns when most people are sitting in their cabanas having fun. Now, how old is this one right here? I've just got to twist it in the right direction. I want to get some light on that little plate, which is on the side of the mower right here. There's the important info there. I'm pretty sure it's much the same as the other one that I found. A build year of 2018, we do not know when it was purchased, but I'm shooting this video in 2022. As I learned by my other study of this style of lawnmower, it's got a five year warranty. So let's say if it was bought in 2018, so that's 19 one year, 20, 21, 22, that's four years. So it's still got one more year of warranty left. Why is it thrown out? I sound like a broken record, the rubbish piles talk to me. Now to be fair to Azito, whoever owned this mower may have been mowing like a Karen. They may have been using it every day of the week, we just do not know. But what's perplexing is the part of town where I'm at, these are all big properties here. I, I don't think anyone would have the use for something like this because this is really only suited to a very small lawn area. I think if you're gonna try and tackle something big with a machine like that, I think you're totally kidding yourself. Part of me is getting so curious, I feel like running down to Bunnings and just buying one of these just to feel the magic. I'm just going to run around on the lawn here just to see how it feels. I remember I ran one around in store on the concrete, but it's a different feel on grass. Yeah, I think I've got to, I think I've got to bite the bullet and go and buy one and just work out how awesome these little mowers are. I think a lesson I've taught myself by seeing these thrown out in the rubbish pile and they're not very old. Do your homework if you're going to buy any sort of battery powered lawnmower. I should point out, this is the carry handle for this lawnmower. I've never pointed that out, although Karen from Queensland did talk about that. I think she said how light it was. It's extremely light. I could literally throw that over my head, but I've got people across the road watching me and they think I'm a total loony. So I'll put it back down gently and I'll just ease this over into the rubbish pile again. And we can rejoice how we've saved the planet, but whoever bought this, they have not saved their wallet. And that's the problem with buying something like this. You know, if I find one more of these 2018 vintage Azito electric lawnmowers on the rubbish piles in 2022, it's gonna be three strikes and you're out. 
So finding this second Ozito 18 volt lawnmower starts to really focus on the first one that I found because we talk about the pricing of the lawnmower, the pricing of the batteries, and I dissected some product reviews which were very telling about this little lawnmower and the experience that owners had with it. Now there's another fudge factor going on here and I want to be totally fair to Ozito and I need to explain this. These lawnmowers have been purchased just before a time where the east coast of Australia has experienced two extremely wet years. By putting my Sherlock Holmes hat on, I noticed that both of the Azito lawnmowers had rusted cutting blades. The one I found in this video has that dried up, very fine grass that at one time would have been wet and soggy. Both these lawnmowers would have been attempting to cut grass in two extremely wet years. I remember 2022 when the rain started in February, there was so much rain for so many months, the ground got so boggy you couldn't do any mowing at all. By the time winter rolled around, you tend not to mow the lawn, but then when spring hit, there was this ferocious growth of grass, and I'd never seen the grass so lush. In fact, I'm pretty sure I spoke about that in that redback spider roundup video where I didn't find any redback spiders. So both of these Azito mowers have been up against some of the best grass growing conditions that we've had on the east coast of Australia. And I think if you've got big grass growing, well, this is not the sort of lawnmower that's going to cut it. No pun intended.